Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first recent online seminar. My name is Ted. And my name is Nobi. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you guys. Okay. Before jumping into the program, let me briefly explain about Riso. Well, actually, Riso, our company, was um, incorporated in the year 1955. So we are now celebrating our 76th years after incorporation. Okay. In this wordy slide, I'm not going to go through all of these words, but simply talking to you, the word Riso means ideal in Japanese language. Our founder, uh, when he established the company, he thought that Riso is the most beautiful world, word in the world. So the company name was named exactly. Riso. Exactly. Okay, just a brief uh, PR of, a, of our company. So, let me tell you what we have on our plate today. Well, I told you we only have 35 minutes, and so that we are, I have four chapters. The first one being on the screen printing demo. Later, I'm going to ask uh, Nobi to run a really quick demonstration. Yes. And the second chapter, comparing the Riso DTS, dry thermal screen system, and conventional screen making. And then I'm going to show you, showcase the strength of Riso DTS, dry yes. thermal yes. screen yes. system. And at the very end, um, I am going to show you, introduce you to the Goko products are virtually using the Riso DTS technology. Okay? So it's pretty simple. This is the frame, the frame we're using, and already the master is fixed. We have Stretched. put the master on like this. I later will explain what kind of master, but this is a very special master, our product. And to save time, I have already printed Having said so, um, I have prepared a really short video that could showcase what is conventional screen printing is. Riso dry thermal screen system. Sounds great, right? yeah. Okay, so once again, um, it's easy. I prepared a, a, about a minute or two video yeah. uh, that could better give you an understanding over Riso DTS. Digital system, like I told you, no positive film. Yes. Um, no UV light exposure. No water. Oh yes, they were right. no none. No, 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 right? No. So, um, the earlier one, I said it took three hours for her to create a frame. Yeah. But this one, less than ten minutes. Oh yes, yes, understand. Alrighty. Yeah. Okay. So, having said so, um, Nobby. I would like you to introduce the Coco Pro products, which are using the state-of-the-art Riso DTS technology. Sure, this is my favorite time. Yes. So, okay. Come to the machines here. Okay, and we'll start one by one. And this is the first machine. 
This is called GoCopro 100. And then from small items to tiles. And then the biggest frame is this size. Oh. And this is, um, the length is 800. And yeah, in what? 800 millimeters. Millimeters, yes. okay. And the, you send the data from the, compu uh, the computer to here, mm -hmm. and then this is the screen here. Okay. And after you get it, you put it on the oh, so frame. So you don't pre-stretch, you no, stretch no, no. afterwards. Afterwards. Okay. But you can get the length, 800. And do you know what this is? What is that? Well, I'll show you the results. And it's tiles. It's a towel? Oh, yes. that's a unique um, application. So that's hmm. why you need the length like this. 800 millimeters. Yes. Right. But I the mean, point... 32 cent, uh, um, inches. Mm -hmm. But the point is now only A3 size, so it's on this. Okay. Yes. So okay. people, they're big people and they want more, wider. Okay. Yes. Then they go to the next machine. And sure. this is the middle machine. Okay. This is the GoCopro 200. Yes. And then wide range of film. The smaller one. Is this size? Is that the smallest frame size? Yes, frame size. Mm -hmm. And the bigger size, the biggest size it goes is up this, to this size. size. What's the size of that? This size is 580 milli to 780 milli. Yes. Okay. Yes. So since it's digital, it must have some kind of some resolution. Yes. What's the resolution? And this one and this machine are both 600 DPI machines. What does DPI stand for? Dot per inch. Oh, so 600 dot per dots per inch. Yes. So, these two machines here. Mm -hmm. And finally, I want, and then you can see, you can see here the head size. Why you can do this small one? Because the head size is only this size. So, it has a small print head. Small print head here. Mm -hmm. And then it goes four times. Okay. Yes. So, it moves around. Yes. I'll All compare right. with the, the, our flagship model here. Okay. And this is the Boko Pro QS 2536, the, the flagship model. And the mm -hmm. point? is 1200 dpi and the size is this oh so it's twice than the others yes the size is 635 by 914 okay millimeters so yes one. and why for the biggest ones this is good for the automatic printers a lot oh. of automatic printers need this big size so this is applicable this frame is applicable on automatic presses yes a lot of people bought for the automatic machines oh really okay. yes and then just to compare with the QS200, you can see the head. Head size is from the here to here, a very big head size. The TPH. Yes, the thermal, TPH. Thermal print head. And as Ted explained before this, this part is burning the film okay. to make holes. Oh, okay. Yes. So. That's the reason it doesn't need any emulsion. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because in the room, there's no emulsion, no place to wash mm -hmm. around here. It's a good studio here. Okay. Okay. We've got a large pin and a small pin in here, so it can only go in the one way. You drop this into the machine, hold it down, and it takes 35 seconds for it to expose us. So, three hours you've seen before with one of the other systems. This is burning holes in the coating that was so eloquently described by my colleague. Okay. Want to see you. Thank you very much. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.